Hey internet, Brett here from Dangerous Music, and I'm here today to take you through setting up the Dangerous Music System, comprised of convert series converters connected via USB to an Apple computer running Mac OS. This video features two convert 8s, one convert 2, and one convert AD+. Here, we assume the two convert 8s are being used to feed a summing mixer like the Dangerous Music 2 Bus Plus or 2 Bus LT. The convert AD Plus is used to track and capture the summed mix back in your DAW, and the convert 2 is being used for monitoring the output of the DAW. Let's get started with the hardware. I'm going to start by connecting the convert series converters to my MacBook Pro via USB. To do this, I'm going to use a 4-port USB hub, in this case one from Anchor, but just about any 4-port USB 2.0 or better hub will do. All four Convert Series devices are now on one USB hub, but I'm not yet going to connect that hub to my computer. Next, I'm going to get three word clock cables. I'm going to make the Convert AD Plus my word clock master for reasons we'll discuss later in the video. So I'm going to start by connecting word clock output of the AD Plus to the word clock input of the Convert 2. I will connect the clock output of the Convert 2 to the input of the first Convert 8 and the clock output of that Convert 8 into the second Convert 8's clock input. The order doesn't matter if your system needs to work differently due to the layout, but the important thing here is that I'm starting the daisy chain with the convert AD+, and then I'm going out to in on each of the rest of the converters clock I.O. All right, now that we're done with that, I'm going to connect power to all four convert devices and power them up. Once the four devices are online, I will set up our clock settings on these devices. The Convert AD Plus's word clock button will be dimly lit by default, which I will keep, indicating that the Convert AD Plus is using its dead accurate internal Jet PLL clock generator. I will push the word clock button on each of the other Convert devices so that they are all brightly lit, indicating that they are clocking from their respective word clock inputs. From here, let's set the sample rate to auto mode on each of the Convert 8s and the Convert 2 by tapping the sample rate select button until the auto LED lights. Now, when I change the sample rate on my Convert AD+, I can see all the other Convert devices following. Now that I've verified that, I'm ready to plug the USB hub into my Mac. Immediately, the lights on my Convert AD+, will change to show all the sample rate LEDs lit, except for one or two, which will blink slowly, indicating the currently running sample rate. This indicates that the Convert AD+, is now in USB Auto Mode, a special feature built into our A to D, which can detect sample rate changes via USB, even though it's not receiving digital audio information from the computer. Very cool. Now that we have all four converters connected to the computer via USB, it's time to create a virtual interface for them. This is done in Audio MIDI Setup, which can be found in the Utilities folder in Applications, or by searching with Spotlight. Once there, we will see all the available core audio devices listed on the left. At the bottom left, there's a plus icon where I can create an aggregate interface. By default, this is named aggregate device, but I'm gonna go ahead and double click and change this to dangerous converts so I remember it easily. From here, making sure that my new aggregate device is still highlighted, I can add my convert series devices to the group by clicking and checking their checkboxes. I can do that in the order I'd like them to appear in the group, or I can come up here and reorder them later if I need to. Just remember not to reorder or change the IO while your DAW is running, because some of them do get confused. I also need to make sure that I change my clock source here to convert AD plus, if that's not already set up by default, because that is the beginning of our word clock chain. And because I'm using all convert series devices with word clock, I don't need drift correction. So I'm just gonna turn that off here by unchecking their checkboxes. Once I'm done, I will check that the system is working correctly by changing the sample rate of the aggregate group in the audio MIDI setup window and watching all of the other hardware change with each selection. And that's it. The system is set up and ready to use in any core audio compatible DAW. It will also follow sample rate changes from the DAW just like an interface would even though the system consists of only converters. Thanks for watching and happy mixing.